You're listening to Linux News Log, separating the Linux and open source signal from the noise. Hey everyone, how's it going? I am your host Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Petaluma, California, here in Studio MC2 at QuickSurf Internet Studios. Linux News Log is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do feel free to head on over to techpodcast.com and check out all the other technology-related shows over there. I'd like to encourage everybody to visit us online over at quicksurf.com. If you are uh, watching the video of this show on YouTube, please do uh, subscribe and or show uh, your support by liking uh, this episode. And uh, if you are not a YouTube viewer and uh, you just subscribe to the show using your podcatcher of choice, or if you're just watching this on our website over at quicksurf.com, please do subscribe if you haven't already done so. The links to do so are uh, all linked up in the show notes. Uh, Feel free to use your podcatcher of choice to uh, subscribe to the show. With that, let's go ahead and get into the stories for this episode. Starting off over at Ars Technica, there's a story here. Valve, uh, we've been reporting on Valve and their Steam Linux uh, plans for a while now. Well, they have uh, posted an article, Valve is now seeking beta testers for their long-awaited Linux version of Steam. If you want to be a beta tester, do uh, head on over to Valve's uh, website and get signed up to beta test uh, the Steam client for Linux. And uh, that should be pretty interesting. I'm curious to see how well that turns out. From Nasdaq.com, the STEC is going to open source uh, a Linux driver and showcase solid state drive solutions at SNW Europe. This is pretty neat. Stec drives, software enable SSDs across a broad array of applications. Presentation to highlight must have features in enterprise SSD storage. Pretty awesome. Uh, Their STEC is a leading global provider of SSD technologies and products. Um, their PCI Express card, they're uh, announcing that along with an open source driver for it, which will enable a whole lot of cool stuff to happen uh, in Linux land. And that's one of the primary reasons why I'm even reporting anything on this in this show. So uh, check it out. Uh, if you want some fast storage stuff with open source drivers, Stack is uh, going all the way. From ServerWatch, there's an article here posted, DreamHost is looking to contribute back to Linux. And uh, I'm not going to read through the whole article here, but to paraphrase, um, Simon Anderson, uh, the CEO of DreamHost, has noted that his company has been using Linux since the company was founded in 1997. Um, They originally used Debian, but more recently have uh, started a shift towards Ubuntu. They don't have a commercial agreement with Canonical. Uh, There is, however, a relationship between the two. And um, what what they're looking to do is to get more active uh, in the Linux Foundation and looking at contributions back to the operating system, um, changes that they may make. They're looking to kind of submit those back to the... uh, to the open source community, which this is good. This is nothing but good. This is how open source is supposed to work. So, uh, you know, we'll be keeping an eye uh, to see how well uh, this is working for DreamHost as things progress forward for them. From netsecurity.org, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 has achieved its top security certification, um, including the KVM hypervisor, they've been awarded the Common Criteria Certification at Evaluation Assurance Level 4 Plus. It's the highest level you can get. So congratulations to Red Hat. Uh, and uh, we'll be looking forward to uh, future uh, products from them that meet that same rating. From webwire.com, High Silicon joins Lenaro as a core member. This is pretty neat. Wireless communications chipset provider, uh, High Silicon Technologies, and Lenaro, the not-for-profit engineering organization developing open source software for the ARM architecture, today announced that High Silicon has joined Lenaro as a core member. High Silicon will appoint a representative to the board of Lenaro and work with other members to develop the future of Linux on ARM. The company will contribute resources to work together with the engineers from other Lenaro members. So pretty neat. Um, we'll be, I'll be curious to see uh, what uh, comes uh, to fruition as a result of this partnership. 
from muckware.com. LG is getting serious about Linux and uh, joins the ARM focused Lenaro group. This is the second story about Lenaro. Um, LG has uh, joined Lenaro. They're going to contribute resources to work together with the resources from existing Lenaro members. You know, pretty much the same thing um, as the last story. That's just, this is good, good, good things or can come from this. LG makes pretty good stuff. So be interested to see what kind of contributions they can make towards Linux on ARM. From Tech Hive, QB board is like a Raspberry Pi on steroids. This is pretty neat. Um, the story here is starts off here at Geek Tech. We're big fans of tiny Linux computer boards like the Raspberry Pi. If you wanted even more power after the Raspberry Pi got its turbo on and a serious RAM upgrade, you might want to take a look at the amped up specs on the QB board. QB board is a monster of a board. It's got a one gigahertz ARM Cortex A8 processor as well as a separate Mali 400 GPU. It's got a whole gigabyte of RAM, four gigs of onboard storage to help it run Android, Ubuntu, or Linux distros. Um, like any good computer on a stick, it's all Ethernet, HDMI, and USB ports to make it a super small Linux computer or Android-powered smart TV. Um, it has a built-in SATA port that let it set power a hard drive all on its own, making it a real media powerhouse, so you can actually put a serious amount of storage on this thing. Um, pretty interesting. Check it out. And uh, let me know if, uh, if you like it or what's good or bad about it. That'll do it for this edition of Linux News Log. As always, everything we've talked about is linked up in the show notes. You can find those online at quicksurf.com. And uh, please do like the video and uh, subscribe if you have not already done so. And with that, I will see all of you on the next episode. I'll see you then. Bye.